close to Dean's Gate, there is a lesser told history of the people of Manchester and of the UK as a whole. The People's History Museum shows the struggles of the working class. In 2010, the Department for Culture, Media and Sport announced that the museum will be facing a cut of around £200,000, due to take hold in April 2015. I spoke to Katie Ashton, director of the People's History Museum, to see how they're planning on raising the money. And we've had, uh, you know, lots of conversations with DCMS about that. We've explored a number of options through their support, which have been great. But as as yet, we haven't yet got a, an alternative funding source in place. So we're due to lose around 15 to 20 percent of our turnover in 2015, which obviously, for a museum of this size, is going to have an impact on a range of of aspects of the museum's work that we need to consider. And that 15 to 20 percent, that's estimated around 200 thousand pounds, isn't that right? Yeah, it's, it's somewhere just under that. It's the the actual figures obviously reduced over the last few years with with small cuts that have been made. So we are working really hard to generate more of our own income and to replace the public sector funding with, with a wide range of, of sources from donations through to commercial income. Um, we've expanded the shop, for example. Katie Ashton says it's too early to tell exactly what impact the cut will have, but 15-20% to 20% of the overall budget is significant. Toby Sargent at the Department for Culture, Media and Sport tried to explain what it might mean. Well, what it'll mean is that it'll need to find uh, an alternative source of funding, which is what we're trying to sort out at the moment. Uh, they are one of a number of museums that back in 2010, uh, institutions in fact, who we uh, identified as being ones that uh, could be streamlined in terms of their uh, their sort of their their, their funding. Uh, they are the only one of the the groups that we identified that are left, uh, and we are very much hoping that uh, either through the uh, the local authority or through merging with another organisation, that they they will be able to find a. Um, sustainable sustainable future. Now, the museum itself might not necessarily need one person donate, to donate £200,000. It could be that 40,000 people donate a fiver. Perhaps the People's History Museum could do with the help of the people now more than ever. Jamie Mackerel reporting for Keys TV News.